Over the eons, chemical, visual, and vocal forms of communication have evolved over and over, helping animals to flourish in virtually every environment on the planet. How did this astonishing process of relaying information begin? A strange occurrence in the ocean may shed light on the very first communication. Not long ago, orbiting satellites picked up a strange glow in the sea off the Horn of Africa. Tens of thousands of square miles of ocean, an area the size of Connecticut, was lit up. It was a phenomenon known as Milky Seas. Similar occurrences had been witnessed for centuries, but with no explanation. The source of the Milky Sea was revealed to be bioluminescent bacteria. A species of tiny microbes found at sea. Why were trillions of marine bacteria lighting up all at once? Molecular biologists investigated the phenomenon and made an amazing discovery. Bacteria talk to each other. Bacteria do communicate. They obviously don't have words like we do. What they use for their words are chemicals. So they exchange chemicals as their language and it allows them to do different things. Molecular biologist Bonnie Bassler studies how individual bacterium release chemical molecules to signal their presence to other bacteria. As they're growing and dividing, they're making and releasing small molecules that you can just think of like hormones or pheromones. And when the molecules hit a particular amount, all the bacteria would recognize those molecules were there. It would tell them about how many neighbors they would have. And then they would all turn on light in synchrony. Bioluminescent microbes are but one of millions of different bacterial strains that communicate this way. How do they do it? Bacteria often act like a legislative body. Wilson of Ohio. To achieve anything important, they need to work as a group. And to do this, they first need a quorum. The presence of a critical number of individuals that emit molecules to each other. So we call this phenomenon quorum sensing. The bacteria vote with these little chemical votes. They count the vote, and then the entire group acts together. But what would a single-cell bacterium, an organism that reproduces all by itself, need to communicate? They need communication because they need to be able to carry out tasks that are too hard for the individual. They need it exactly the same way we often need to get groups together to accomplish things that we just couldn't do by ourselves because they're too hard. Some bacteria communicate to find each other so they can hunt together. Others communicate to launch collective attacks on our bodies. And these bacteria off the coast of Africa turn bioluminescent in the ocean. The product of the Earth's most primitive organisms, milky seas are believed to be a remnant of the planet's very first communication. But for Bassler, talking bacteria are about far more than bioluminescence. The way they communicate reveals how cells, the building blocks of complex life, first came together. Bacteria, because they have chemical communication, we think that they invented the way that groups of organisms or cells work together to do things cooperatively. Such cooperation among cells is what creates and maintains the organs that run our complex bodies. The mechanisms bacteria use to do this chemical communication are very analogous to the strategies used by the different cells in your body to make groups and to carry out particular tasks like your kidney cells and your heart cells and your muscle cells. In the billions of years since bacteria first relayed information, life forms have become more complex.